Hi guys, welcome to this part two of the Image Line license agreement series. And in the first part, which I published a few weeks ago, I talked about the uh, FL Studio 20 license, uh, how it worked, what type of license it was, and um, we also covered um, ways in which you can use FL Studio 20 in a safe manner, you know, without any risk of Image Line coming after you or anything. So in this part two, what I want to do is talk a bit more about the demo and also um, quickly look at the red key and other part of the license. So um, you, you should be aware by now that FL Studio comes uh, with different editions. So you have the 3D edition, um, producer, signature, and then the R plugins bundle edition. So every edition comes with a set of plugins and um, these plugins, many of these at least, are fully unlocked, which means you can use them. Um, once you get an FL Studio 20 license, you can save your project, reopen them, um, edit the plugins and stuff like that. But then some of the uh, plugins will come in their demo version. So don't confuse the plugins and the software uh, itself. So FL Studio 20 might be unlocked, which means you can save projects, reopen them, do whatever you want to do that your edition allows you to do, but then uh, the plugins themselves um, might not uh, be available to update or edit, uh, have their settings edited when you reopen your projects. This means, let's say you have something like um, Harmor, uh, which is one of the most used FS Studio 20 plugins. Uh, you might be able to add it, but then you would get some um, some notifications or reminders that you need to purchase the plugin in order to be able to export your project and use it everywhere and stuff like that. So um, the short answer is no, the FS Studio 20 demo will not come with all the plugins from um, that, that you can get with FS Studio unless you get the all plugins bundle. Um, then again, that's the highest price. I think it's something like 899 US dollars. So uh, of course, there are other plugins that you can add like a uh, silent or um, Nexus, but then these are not uh, image line plugins. You can just go uh, and purchase them yourself. Now, a very important thing to note is that um, FS Studio 20 comes with a bunch of professional tracks. So these tracks, when we say professional, we mean that uh, they were produced and uh, performed by a world-class artist or at least uh, producers with a lot of years of experience. So they sound really good and the composition is really clean. Um, they, uh, it's quite creative, like you can really learn from them. But then just because you might have purchased the FS Studio 20 and obtained your license does not mean that you, you own the FS Studio 20 demo projects. These demo projects still belong to ImageLine uh, their partners and whoever contributed to the tracks, whether it's the artist itself, himself or herself, or um, the producer or anyone, it can be the composer, whatever. But the thing is, you don't get to claim ownership for these demo projects. This means that these projects are protected by copyright laws and you're not allowed to use them anyhow you want, especially not for um, commercial purposes. So you definitely should not resell these uh, demo projects or I would even recommend not using them um, in any uh, commercial project that you're working on. The best thing, you can always go for um, copyright-free tracks. Uh, we have a bunch of these around on YouTube, so just try and find these. But don't use the uh, demo project or let alone claim that you were the one who um, produced them when you didn't. Now, um, the fact that ImageLine retains ownership along with their partners and contributors um, for the demo projects does not mean that whatever track you work on, and I'm referring to original tracks, so whatever you work on with the software belongs to them. Definitely, if you uh, work on an original track, it is yours, uh, ImageLine will not claim ownership. So ImageLine um, have allowed producers to use a lot of uh, scenes and samples like for instance, you might not want to create your kicks, your hats, your snares, etc. Uh, by yourself. So you can use a A08 or 909, whatever um, samples that they have for your beats, etc. But um, try and make the track original, okay? Don't try and um, mimic one of their demo projects like by 90% or 95% and claim that it's your own. 
So yes, you can go ahead and use their samples and everything, but so long as the uh, the track is original, it's your original work, it belongs to you. Therefore, you are allowed to use it anyhow you want, even for commercial purposes. Now, um, in previous videos, when I talked about the license, how to unlock FS Studio 20, uh, whether it was using the red key or your image line account, um, many people said that they couldn't afford the full version. And uh, my advice to them was that they could always get a demo, uh, learn their way around it, and when they feel confident enough, then uh, they can go ahead for the full version. But then I have one very important uh, clarification to make. If you plan to download the FS Studio 20 demo to learn how to use the digital audio workstation, make sure you don't um, you don't produce track that you plan to sell. The FS Studio 20 demo is limited for private use. So um, whatever you make should only be used um, for yourself, basically. You know, maybe you would just start uh, one or two tracks and then as you learn more and more techniques from YouTube, then you enhance them and etc. But then you can't go ahead and submit them to a label or, or anything. You can't release them to the public or sell them. So if you want to do any of that and do what real music producers do, then make sure you get an FS Studio 20 license. A valid one, of course, don't try and hack it. So uh, that's the very important thing to note. And if ever you were to ignore this uh, very important uh, rule in the, in the license agreement, um, there might be some serious consequences. And I will talk more about this in the future videos, but uh, trust me, some producers have been victim of that. And I mean, to some extent, they are to blame because um, all of these are stated in the um, user and user license agreements. We just don't read them. That's why I'm making these videos to simplify it for you. But the thing is, if you use the FS Studio 20 demo, don't make commercial tracks with it, okay? You can only do that if you get an FS Studio 20 license. Now, you, you might have noticed a very high resolution um, image in my opening slide. Let me go back to it right now. Yeah, so this fruit right here, uh, which is really high quality, I actually got it from ImageLine's website. So um, if you go to their end user license agreements page, uh, among their various terms, they will cover uh, the terms protecting their assets. So they will have a link and then you can follow this link and uh, you will see that they have a page basically like a sort of uh, media kits where you can download their logo and other artworks or high resolution and then you can use them uh, in your project. So that's what I did here. They, they allow you to make use of that but of course do not modify them or sell them to anyone. They still belong to ImageLine, they're just making them available to you. So one quick example I want to, to show you is um, that 3D image. Here on this page, you will see um, they have the legal notice and stuff. You're allowed to share these logos and artworks, meaning you can copy, distribute, and transmit them, but only for non-commercial, non-competing, or press-related purposes. So yeah, that's what I just explained. So here you can see, for instance, they have this FS Studio uh, logo, and they have many more images, of course, when you scroll down here. I'm not gonna go and click on all of these images, but this 3D image, for instance, can be seen here. It's a transparent PNG. And when I click on it, you can see how huge it is, how high res it is. So this is really cool quality. You can use that for your thumbnails on YouTube or um, if you have a blog and you, you write about FL Studio, you can use search images and uh, you're safe. Now, the super important question that I get almost every day, can I share or distribute my FL Studio 20 license or Reiki? The answer is absolutely not. Um, if, for instance, you own a license, of course, this is not exclusive. And the reason why it is not exclusive is because ImageLine wants you to be able to use that license on different machines. So it's not limited to only one device, for instance. But then keep in mind, it is not transferable, which means I cannot just transfer ownership to someone if I don't want my license anymore, or if I just want to be friendly or appear to be caring or, or anything. One license is for one user. So 
if uh, someone asks you to share or distribute your Reiki or if you, you're the one asking that, please refrain from it. Keep in mind that if ImageLine gets to you know that you share your, your license, they have the full right to revoke it or blacklist you or anything. Um, some people have been sharing their license and uh, you know before they knew it, it was over for them. They could not upgrade uh, FSU anymore. So that's basically it for this video. Um, I wanted to cover uh, important questions or common ones that you're likely to have. I hope this was helpful to you. If you want uh, a third part of it, like another video about the license agreement or you want me to clarify anything, please just go ahead and let me know in the comment section and I will get back to you. Uh, in the meantime, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, check out my other videos and uh, like this video and share it with your friends. And um, I'll catch you next time. Bye.